Hey guys, Dimitri from The Score Esports. Now, if there's one Siege player whose name is constantly being thrown around in conversations regarding best in the world, it's Kanto Ricchetti. Rotate, the Claymore does it. Successful plant goes down from G2. Kanto's there. What a play from Kanto to take out two. And Shepard with no yokais, no utility. He'll do nothing. Kanto Ricchetti, what an impressive round. After making a name for himself on Ents, this Finnish fragger joined G2, where he amassed a Pro League title, a major win, and ultimately a World Championship. Now, whether he's fragging out on Ash or holding it down with Ella, there is no denying that Kanto is an absolute animal. So sit back, relax, and enjoy as we count down the top 10 times that Kanto Ricchetti went ham in professional Rainbow Six Siege. Kicking off our list is Kanto's beautiful Jaeger clutch against Space Station Gaming from the 2019 Six Invitational. With three attackers collapsing on him in Garage, Kanto had no choice but to sit, wait, and plan out his next move. Not what you want to be seeing if you're SSG fan. Especially not that. Kid Turketti, a very tight angle onto Chala, and down he goes. Goes for a second, gets it, and a third! Excellent gunplay from Kanto Ricchetti, and all of SSG are felled. What a monstrous performance by Kanto, and exactly what you expect. Coming in at number 9 is Kanto's trophy room hold against Team Font in the Pro League Season 3 semifinals. Finding himself on the losing side of a 2v4, Kanto punctuates two window picks with a lovely little peekaboo on the lurking Hibana. Kanto is going to come back and manage to avoid that. He sees Moringa and he downs him but doesn't finish him off. And now Astro pushes in different side. Is Kanto going to be able to get him? He will. That is essentially a double. He sees Mav. And what a kill from Kanto! Kanto walks into Trophy and says, No, you cannot have my bomb site. Please go away. And he manages to tear apart every single attacker that attempts to challenge him. Wow! Taking the 8th spot on our list is the Ash Clinic Kanto put on against his eventual teammates from Penta Sports. After kicking things off with a casual wallbang, Kanto eases himself into a skillful peek before gifting a volley of precisely delivered shots into the domes of Penta's two on-site defenders. This, right here, is why Ash had her ACOG taken away. Thanks, Kanto. Info to play off of if you're attacking. Oh, Kanto right next to Yunus, gets him through the wall! But uh, Yunus get, will keep it just before that they had the oh, information Kanto! coming in. Kanto with what? a double kill right after, headshot after, headshot for that guy. Kanto just showcasing why he's playing Broly. When you see plays like this against the best team in the world right now, the title holders, there's nothing else to say really in this spot. Coming in at number 7 is the second time that Kanto's Ella went ham on Chalet at the Year 2 Season 3 Finals. With the clock ticking down, Kanto finds himself in a 1v3 that even he couldn't anticipate. After picking up a quick vertical kill, Kanto leverages a gutsy railing hop into a double kill that leaves the enemy Blackbeard sprinting for the diffuser, wishing he'd never equipped that heavy ass shield to begin with. Boonsy playing inside a trophy, just by that doorway, and from above, Kanto, a nice kill on the Psycho. That is crucial, but BZD gets Wilkie, and still with Panari down, it's gonna be up to Kanto and Bootsy to hold this off. And Bootsy's gonna get one before being pressured by Kamikaze, he gets down, it's all up to Kanto, he sees Julio and he'll take him down. So now, it's a 2v1 essentially, Kamikaze, he sees PZD, Kanto, are you kidding me? It's just Kamikaze left. And now Kanto's gonna wait out the time, they can't do it in time, Kanto! Kanto Ketty is, again, he's the player who has stepped up and filled the void that was on Ents. They needed somebody to just get the kills, make the plays, and establish the advantages. Topping off the back end of our list is that time Kanto turned Ash's R4C into a scalpel in the Pro League Season 8 semifinals. With four bodies to drop and only one teammate alive to help him, Kanto staves off two charging defenders before humiliating the enemy anchor in his own home, proving once and for all that you can't run or hide from Ash's ACOG when Kanto is wielding it. 4v2 advantage, of course, here for Fnatic, but the headshot's been found. Lusty will get dropped. Flashbang thrown in, though, from the top 
rooftop here into the bathroom. Kenta Rakati, low on health, but aces. Is he finally going to get dropped? Does he find the head in the back of the maestro? Damage done! Kenta Rakati, he threads the needle! A thundering roar! This is absolutely insane. Kenta Rakati showing why he's the carry rocket. Coming in at the midpoint of our list is Kanto's calculated clutch against Team Empire during Season 9 of Pro League. With zero help, three attackers on his scent, and the Diffuser sitting halfway across the map, things weren't looking good for Kanto. But Empire forgot the golden rule of clutching, that with a lot of patience and just a little bit of the R4C, anything is possible for a fragger as deadly as Kanto Ricchetti. Shepard cuts down Fabi and leaving just Kanto Ricchetti. Say goodbye to Scyther. Look at how far away they are. Nobody is really in position right now to be able to take Kanto down. He's going to be exposed for another four, three, two, one seconds, and then, well, he's got some marks. Oh, he takes out Joystick. And all the pings right now onto Shepard, low on HP. Shepard might be blind. Oh, what a great shot for Kanto! The monstrous clutch on Banana! He'll get Shepard, say bye-bye, and G2 will move on to match point, all because a wonderful one-on-three from Kanto. Taking the fourth spot on our list is probably the dankest castle clutch you've ever seen. That's right, we're talking about castle. With all three attackers on site, and the Finn yet to make his way back into the Oregon basement, Kanto is tasked with pulling off one of the toughest retakes in the game post-plant, by himself, as Castle. So if the drop happens, Yogurt knows he just needs to stay put. And there he goes, Kanto picks off one, he's got two more to go, pre-fires around, but here he's gonna move in as well. There's gonna be one smoke grenade, Candela's going on out as well, Stizzy peeks around the corner, and Penny got the kill, Kanto walking away with 10 health down, Stizzy, it's all up to a clutch here. One bullet from either of these players will take the other out. We either have a trade or we have a victor. Who's going to walk out on top? Uh, here he has the advantage. He's prone behind the doorway right now. Kanto ever is going to chase him around. He's going to grab the flag! Kanto grabs that three-on-one clutch. He's going to secure this victory for Ent. They had everything in their favor, and every one of them peaked. Every single one over peaked, and unfortunately for the millennium, that is not how you want to end this series. Taking the third spot on our list is yet another instance where Kanto's Ella provided a visceral reminder as to how badly this operator needed to be nerfed into the ground. With a scorpion in his hands, and little to no recoil standing in his way, Kanto is able to eviscerate three members of Black Dragons in the Year 2 Season 3 Grand Finals before camping out a truly tilt-inducing fourth to help close out the first round of the series. See Psycho, he's got that top west side control and he's going to continue to try and clear out these roamers, but it's just continuing to stall. Kanto Ricchetti, the first kill of this series, the second kill of this series, the third kill of this series, takes out Julio and PZD before he gets a refrag from Kamikaze. What an amazing roam from Kanto Ricchetti. He's taken almost all of Wag's health down as well. He's going to get pushed by Kamikaze. Is he going to be able to get him? That's a fourth kill for Kanto. Wow, I feel cheated. I feel <laughs> absolutely cheated as a spectator. He got all but like three HP <laughs> of every single yep. one of them. Taking the penultimate spot on our list is the truly disgusting Ash Clutch Kanto executed against FaZe Clan in the Pro League Season 8 Grand Finals. With the Diffuser sitting miles away, and two defenders camping both entrances to OBJ, Kanto has no choice but to engage both at once. Little do they know, Kanto has no issue killing two birds with one stone. Goga and Jonas vanquished, leaving Kanto Ricchetti to deal with the three remaining members of FaZe, and very quickly he will reduce it to two with Moringa and Yuna. And this is a very winnable position with that R4C in the hands of the Finn. We'll need to grab the Diffuser. It's quite a ways away. Moringa prone with the shotgun blast. Kanto around the corner. The oh! double! What a clutch! Kanto, the madman, silencing the crowd. Absolutely insane aim there from Kanto Ricchetti. The transfer as clean as it gets. 
taking the top spot on our list is the single most jaw-dropping Kanto play of all time, the Jackal Rush against FaZe in the Season 8 Grand Finals. Now, in order to understand just how dumb this is, a little setup is required. FaZe inhabit the single most defensible site on Bank. All of their operators are alive, and they have virtually every piece of utility at their disposal. To make things worse, G2 have exhausted all their options, their plan's gone to shit, and they have just under a minute to make something happen. And all that really matters is how will G2 mix things up, because FaZe still have full utility. They might have expended a single gas canister while we weren't paying attention, but I find it unlikely. In fact, no. Moringa has all three, all of the C4s are still in play, and there's only a minute left for G2 to delay this. So with nothing but smokes and a dream, Kanto decides to make one. Smoke grenades going down, and it's going to be a drop from G2. A very aggressive play. Yuno lands his C4 onto Jonas, but Kanto Ketty inside of Vault will take out Mav. And it's just an absolute brawl. Kanto gets three for himself, though, and a fourth. It's all Astro now, and he's far off sight. He shuts down Fabian, but the Claymore from Goga finishes things off. As Kanto drops, or smokes, drops, and vaults next to the mirror window. Takes out Mav, takes out Moringa, takes out Yuna, and I believe it was a 4K as he also took down Cameraman. Okay guys, that's our list. Be sure to let us know in the comments what other Rainbow Six Siege players you want to see get the top 10 treatment. Be sure to like the video, subscribe to our channel, and we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. If you want more content like this, hit the sub button and ring that notification bell. For unique bite-sized videos you won't find anywhere else, hit up our Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook pages.